Final Planes Welcome, the TV show for people who don't actually like TV shows. Yeah, because slagging shows off behind their back is rude, but doing it in front of them is constructive. <laughs> Tonight we'll be fixing your telly issues by talking about them. It's a bit like complaining about your daddy issues to your therapist, who also happens to be your dad. <laughs> to the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the big inquiry! Yeah. Oh, OK, now, just to warn you, today's topic is quite complex, all right? It is not a black and white issue. Actually, it is, because we're talking about diversity. <laughs> now, today, the specific complaint we're dealing with is, are there too many black people on British television? Well, here's one tweet. It says, it's black privilege. Watching TV in the UK is more African than watching Nigerian TV. <laughs> now, you, you've got to appreciate the effort that's got into this tweet. OK, this poor fella has sat down and watched hours of Nigerian TV. <laughs> just, <laughs> just to be able to clarify the statement. Imagine, I'm talking the great Lagos Bake Off. OK, <laughs> homes under the pounded yammer. OK, <laughs> nolly oaks, you know. I really, that's a really big effort, so I tip my durag to you, sir. You've got another tweet here that says... Loose women on today, four panellists, all black, switched off. OK, good to know. So four is the limit. OK, cool, registered. <laughs> Actually, that's quite a good tool for measuring, isn't it, for all these channels about diversity, the loose womometer. <laughs> One Charlene White, perfect. Actually, bonus points for the surname. Charlene White and Judy Love. Yeah, go on, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> Charlene White, Judy Love and Brenda Edwards. All right, OK, it's starting to feel a bit like Destiny's Child now. <laughs> Charlene White, Judy Love... Brenda Edwards and Kelly Bryant, an all-black loose women panel. You're asking for a race war at this point. <laughs> Jess and Tom, would we say it's fair to say that, yeah, there are a few more black people on TV than there were in the past? The thing that's mad to me is this, like, obsession with ratio, this idea that, like, well, there are... It doesn't, it's not really accurately reflected because there aren't even that many black people anyway. It's like, well, there's not that many gorgeous, thin, blonde women, but they're fucking everywhere, <laughs> aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Very true. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> From my experience, it feels like only now people are starting to complain because the thing is, there have always been black people on TV, but just not as many complaints. So, 1976, you had Britain's first all-black sitcom, uh, The Fosters, which featured the Fresh Prince of Premier in Lenny Henry. <laughs> then 1989, you had Desmond's, which was the first comedy series written and created by a black writer, which, at one point, had five million people tuning in. You know, that's more than Love Island. Maybe there was just less backlash because people couldn't actually complain. You know, back then, you actually had to sit down and string a sentence together, which we already know is very difficult for some racists. So, <laughs> Jess and Tom, just about the shows I mentioned, Foster's, Desmond's, you tell me, when those shows came out, was there a negative backlash to them? Munya, <laughs> how old do you think I am? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was six when Desmond's came out. I didn't, as a six-year-old, go around with a clipboard going, did you watch last night's episode <laughs> of Desmond's? Yeah, asked, what did you think about... Absolutely about feels like something you would Actually, do. Actually, that is what I'm going to talk about diversity now, one of the nation's best-known dance groups, they elicited nearly 30,000 complaints for an evocative BGT routine. After that performance, there was huge backlash, with Ashley Banjo saying that he received 100 abusive tweets a minute. Mr Banjo, I believe this is getting out of hand now. Yes, what happened to Mr Flawed should never happen. But don't you think it should be all lives matter? I think it should. <laughs> As you can see, pretty mixed messages when it comes to diversity on TV. On the one hand, four people is too many. On the other hand, the nation actively voted for a black group to win Britain's Got Talent. But then, when the dancing starts to get a bit blm -y, people back out. Realistically, there is always going to be some diversity on television. But for some people, that's too much. Maybe, just maybe, there should be a place where there's none. A safe space away from race where you can unwind without feeling that Martin Luther King is tutting at you for not liking a program. Well, look, if you're listening to that and nodding your head frantically, I think I might have just the thing for you. What in the sister act is this? You know, there used to be a time in this country where we didn't even have coloured TVs. So this, it's hard to watch. God, I mean, even when the bloody thing's off, it's black. Seriously. Things have now got so bad that BAME characters make up for 36.7% of children's programmes. That's nearly 50%, which sounds a lot like 50 Cent, a criminal who was shot nine times. Is that what you want to happen to your children? The fact is, there are too many BBCs on the BBC. 
And most of the people on C4 look like they're carrying it. People of colour should be driving HGVs across channels, not presenting on them. It's time to take television white right back to the good old days, which is why we've created this, the white screen TV. With its relatable flat design, 3K resolution and EDL backlights, the picture quality is higher than most of them are. Every telly comes with a specially made Minora TV remote to help you take back control of your favourite television shows. Simply point and press at a minority and watch them get replaced by something less offensive. Let's have a go now. <sighs> Big game feeling a bit bame. One quick click of your Minora TV remote and ta-da! I call this the White Sue Premier League. Now you can eat your bananas instead of throwing them at the TV. Now, the gadgets are great, and we're sure you won't be sending them back to where they came from. But to guarantee complete customer satisfaction, we haven't just made tech, we've made an entire channel. YTV is an entire channel dedicated to de-diversifying television. I mean, the shows are all the same, just without the bait. For example... Black Lives Matter. Christ, does Ashley want any cod for that massive chip on his shoulder? <laughs> How about something a bit more Brit? Ah, that's it. Feeling the rhythm, not kneeling on it. As well as all the fan favourites, you'll also get access to some white TV exclusives, like White Luther. Are you the man who's just killed several people? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Banter. No, come on, seriously, who did it? Me. Is that a generic urban male between three and seven foot tall? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's just a smidge of the Caucasian-friendly content you'll see on our channel. So, what are you waiting for? Grab your white screen TV today and make sure telly at your place is for your race. Oh, what am I still doing here? All these black people coming here and rejecting our complaints. You're damn right, I am complaint rejected. Thank <laughs> you.